we've got man i'm ex- so excited about this uh this um mlb minute edition each week our mlb minute segment we go around the horn we each take one minute to discuss a, a hot button issue or a topic of our choosing uh that that's going on around major league baseball and and this one kind of fell into our laps uh today at the um at the athletic let me pull it up here uh, evan drellich had an excellent excellent piece on uh the potential problems that major league baseball is facing both short term and long term and essentially what's happening is almost half the league um is losing their broadcasts because the the company that owns bally sports is going under um and that's about 14 teams that have uh are now in panic mode how are their games going to be seen and all of that stuff so it's a fascinating story and mlb as you can imagine is in panic mode um but the the point of 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 ellen uh, evan not ellen <laughs> evan <laughs> evan drellich's piece is that um major league baseball is forming uh, a committee <laughs> it's just <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself here, but they are forming a committee um, to look at the um, the future financial situation of Major League Baseball, Uh, you know, partly because of. Uh, Steve Cohen's spending and trying to limit uh, you know that because what the argument is is creating a bigger gap in baseball from the haves and the haves not have nots I guess um, but also this this television uh, media rights uh, debacle that they're about to face potentially could cause a lot of issues uh, from the owner's side so they're trying to get their heads um, together on the same page which is really interesting is that right now it seems like they're they aren't. Um, but regardless, um, we'll get into that potentially here in a little bit, but let's go around the horn here. One minute each on the financial, (laughs) the financial situation that the $11 billion major league baseball industry is about to face. Karen, we'll start with you. Your one minute begins now. Yeah. So for the longest time, I never thought that I wanted a hard salary cap in baseball. I thought the luxury tax system worked just fine. And uh, bless you, Steve Cohen, I I think you've managed to change my mind on that. When when you look at the current situation of the 30 MLB team payrolls and, and the Mets, are far and away number one at approximately $330 million. And then number two, the Yankees are all the way down at roughly $267 million. That's, that's too much of a gap. And, and I don't see as much as I want the players to get their fair share and, and to make good livings out of what they do. I don't see that a disparity like that is good for the game itself. The the number one thing that I'm interested in is the health of the game. Absolutely. Health of the game is paramount, I think, for for a lot of people. And and Major League Baseball would tell you it is for them as well. But um, it's tough to argue when there's a bottom line that they have to think about. Anyway, Steve, your one minute begins now. Thank you, Sean. Every major sports league in the world, for the most part, has some sort of salary cap. They might call it different things, but it's it's some kind of salary cap. What all the other leagues don't have is a truly powerful players association that, in essence, dictates what's going on. You, you can come out and say, we need to have a salary cap. And even if you have a salary floor, the union's not going to buy in. So really, what they need to do is start negotiating the new CBA now. Forget about these little committees and all this other stuff. If there's regional sports networks you know, that are going bankrupt, they can find places to stream games or broadcast them. Maybe, oh my God, have them over the air broadcast for a year. Wow, how about that? So everybody could get them. But forget that. You need to address this issue with the union. The MLBPA may be the most powerful union in the United States since the heydays of the steel workers and the and the auto workers. Without them on board, you're just wasting your time. Interesting. 
And I'm going to go the opposite way here. My one minute begins now. I actually don't think a salary cap is the issue because this whole luxury tax threshold system that they put in place was supposed to have addressed that. But along comes an owner like Steve Cohen, who just doesn't care. He's willing to pay the penalties and all of that stuff to put a winning team on the field. Um, And if I were a Mets fan, I'd be loving it. I would every you can't tell me that every every fan base in Major League Baseball wouldn't love that. You have an owner willing to spend. The problem is, is yet you have owners who are not willing to spend. You have owners who continue to hoard all of this money sharing that's supposed to happen from the CBT. They're not spending the way they're supposed to either. So, yeah, Major League Baseball, their owners need to get on the same page because they are going to have uh, these negotiations coming up. And they're not on the same page, which means they're not going to be successful in the neg- negotiations because you have some owners who refuse to put a winning team on the field by spending. Hit Go ahead, coach. Karen. <laughs> if I can circle back, last year at this time when we were in lockout. Um, One point that I made was that one way to go is a salary floor, but another thing I thought they should really consider maybe as an alternative is revenue sharing money for small market teams. It, It just automatically goes to the teams. And then from what I hear, a lot of those owners, they don't spend it on salaries, they pocket it. That was never the purpose of the revenue sharing money. I think that receiving that money should be tied to a minimum team payroll, that if you're going to get that money, the, the whole purpose of which is to help you keep your team competitive, then you need to show a signed contract or contracts with players that meet a minimum threshold. So. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, you could put that money in a pot and it can't be touched until that contract is signed. Yep. Simple. Easy peasy. Um, Mm -hmm. We've got comments coming in here. Um, Fast and Furious. (laughs) Christian Rao, my buddy at the OBP OK Baseball podcast, says, discuss how much of a clown Manfred is in one minute or less. Bet you go over. That's next week. (laughs) Hashtag MOB Minute. You know what? Maybe we should make this our next week's challenge. (laughs) See if we can get a precise uh, answer to that in under one minute. Um, Rocket watching as well. It's quite an interesting topic that a bunch of billionaires are complaining about how much other billionaires are making. But you know what, Rocket, I think it's that it's not that, you know, everybody's pissed off at Steve Cohen for spending. It's that now it puts pressure on them to have to do the same thing that, oh, well, we can't compete. Well, yeah, because you're not spending, you cheap bastard. Anyway, uh, that's, this is where I am right now. I'm all fired up. Um, and uh, Christian, back 100% love what Steve Cohen is doing. Keep stirring the pot. Absolutely. And you can hear actually a, a longer discussion about this topic at the OK Baseball podcast. Christian and I just uh, broke it down about half hour or so. We broke it down uh, today. And uh, look for the OK Baseball podcast. You'll get a good discussion there. Um, Because here, we're shifting our attention to your Toronto Blue Jays.